what it is what it do y'all it is friday um i am just now leaving the gym at one o'clock because my fashion haul went live today so if you guys are watching this i'm sure you have seen the spring fashion haul by now and if you haven't i suggest after this video you go ahead and tune into that don't forget to like share and subscribe y'all i don't even know what's been going on this week but this weekend is loaded and next week will be loaded too my mom and zoe is coming for zoe's fifth birthday so definitely got some good stuff coming up but this weekend um uh my creative team we are having a game night today first of all i need to log on log into the group chat to make sure that is still going on because your girl be MIA and just not even knowing things when it's canceled and all of that. So hopefully we'll be doing that today. Then tomorrow I am going to have a booth. Miss Tanya will be with me. She's one of the ladies from my sister circle. So we'll have a table with some product of course i'll be selling sunglasses lashes and then some shoes um and then on tomorrow diamond and i are also going to see mariah the scientist something that she found on eventbrite so i don't even know if she's actually going to be there or if she, like if she's going to be there performing or if she's just going to be there the tickets did sell out pretty quick so hopefully she's performing so I need to figure out my outfit y'all I've been trying to grow my nails out and it's just I don't know this gel polish it only lasts for about a week on my regular nails and my feet look crazy I'm also trying to save money by doing things myself yeah I went to cosmetology school so I literally went to school for this stuff that i'll be paying for and i'm just in this season i just don't have the money to waste mobile homes have been going slow so i'm trying to do as much things as i can on my own but i don't know like my nails keep breaking for one like i don't know i'm loving this red polish though it really does look nice but I just can't deal with I don't want to deal with having to do my nails every single week and the way my nails keep breaking it's just like where's the progression I file them and everything and they still just snag and break and I know because I wear my nails so much it's gonna take a while but I feel like it's been a month has it been a month it may have been three weeks I don't know but anyways i'm about to run to alta i feel like i need to go into walmart because i'm gonna be over here but i'm trying to figure out what do i need from walmart so i'm definitely going to alta also because i need new facial cleanser and then i also want to get some hard wax for my chin not the way this car just zoomed past me and we're in a one a one lane street like what the hell but anyways so yeah i want to get some hard wax for my chin so i can start doing that that's a way to save money i also need to stop by idolize and get my brows done because baby that's not my forte at all so i'm not even about to play myself and eyebrows are it's a different level of importance so that's pretty much all and then when i get home i'm going to meal prep y'all i bought some tofu from aldi's the other day which i am going to try my best to make i'm praying that it turns out good and then i'm also going to make a stuffed potato i had that a couple weeks ago but i'm gonna make a stuffed potato with this um cauliflower broccoli rice that i absolutely love and i think i'm going to 
Oh, I'm going to add some beef to it. I typically don't even eat beef, but somebody gave me some beef. So, um, yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to be going to Alta. Why I done turn the corner to go to, uh, nobody behind me. Let me bust this, Yui. Don't you hate when you know exactly where the thing you are looking for in the store is and then they change the store around? And so now you gotta one, search for it and then you're distracted by all the other things and you was really just trying to run in and get the thing you needed and come out. Ugh, yeah. Ought to move the um, urban skincare and the wax. They were doing a complete revamp, so annoying. Y'all, I had to phone a friend. I literally had to stop one of the employees and ask for assistance. They also stopped selling the Hydra Balance Moisture Infusion. So yeah, this was a really sad trip to Alta. Y'all, I think I told y'all how the girl who do my eyebrows, I don't want her doing my brows no more. And I didn't come yesterday because I thought her day to work was Thursday. Why it look like she in here today? I don't want to like cheat in her face because I'm a very loyal person. Oh my God. <laughs> The Lord made it so easy on me today, my girl. First of all, y'all know I can't do nothing without my shades. My girl. My girl ended up being busy when the girl that I wanted to go to was free. So normally I'll tell them, oh, my nose just started answering. Normally I'll tell them that I'm waiting on her, but today I said nothing. <laughs> truly, truly felt so bad, but it just got to a point where y'all see, I have an exotic looking face and like, you know, your brows compliment your face. And it got to a point my eyebrows wasn't even looking like they were done and when i go to fill my brows in like i'm already not that good at filling them in i just started doing that and so it was just i don't know how to explain it they weren't looking exotic at all another thing y'all i'm the type of person i have a list every single day i literally operate off of a list Forgot that when I left the gym, I needed to go to Sam's Club to get some water. So now, headed to Sam's Club. And then I also forgot that I need to go to Key's house to drop her table off to her. So I'm about to do those two things. I'm trying to figure out what it is that I needed from Walmart. And I don't think I needed anything, to be honest. I think I was probably going to go back. 
don't know what the heck I needed. I'm so dry, like my throat is so dry and I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get home by three o'clock. I guess a lot of folks tank thing on their passenger side. Okay, y'all, so I combined these three sauces. This sauce, I actually don't like any of them by themselves. This one, this one, this is from Harris Teeter. Sweet Baby Rays. And then I also added that one. I had this in the back of the cabinet and I just opened it sugar free don't like it so this is definitely going to trash 
the other ones these i don't know i don't know i don't know and then i added this five spice asian blend to the tofu along with this memphis style this is my first time making this so i'm really just experimenting with all of this and of course i'm gonna let y'all know how um how it turns out in the end i did add both stevia and brown sugar to my sauce i was trying to get it to a taste that i could stand oh you know what I did add a little bit of coconut aminos to the sauce and I think I liked it a bit better before I added this, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get an Asian flavor going, but I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer while I'm cutting my potatoes. And then I'm also, I'm also going to cut up my potatoes. Y'all, being on a time crunch and trying to record content and cook is just not the wave. Um, I am going to add, it looks like it's more cauliflower rice than me, but I don't even care. I'm still going to add spinach to this. I want to run upstairs and separate my clothes really quick so I can put some in the washer so they can be put in the dryer before it's time for me to leave. Y'all, I'm doing like... 50 million things at one time but i want my day tomorrow to be smooth as possible and i still gotta come down here and saute some um brussels sprouts and cut them up for my other stuff so let's see what i get done
the problem is I'll be cooking like there is so many people in my house and I cooked way too much. I really could have just made two potatoes and one of the bags of rice. I may end up freezing some of this rice. I don't know, y'all gotta figure this out. Uh -huh, look at you. <laughs> Alex, she be like, she be the model. Listen, I'm tired. <laughs> look at me for being here. That's, that, that's <laughs> that. And one more line. Okay, um, a big rear end is sometimes called a butt booty. Not a problem. Yeah. Um, not yet. Yeah. It's big. Babies. It's got the end. Real. She is a qualified. You know what I'm saying? Real. Victoria's Secrets has a store called Jimmy. What? Big Secret. Big. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Yeah. Um, say your statement. Say your statement. Uh, when you're, when you doze off. Sleep snooze. Mm. Mm -mm. You sometimes. Are you just No, no uh, gesture. Drew, sneak. It's a sound. No hands. No, no. Uh, no hands. Uh, it's a type of Escalade. Mm. Like a Honda Civic. Okay. Uh, it's. Mm, not, I, ain't, I ain't gonna do that. Uh, when you. Uh, yeah, after the World Cup, like they lift up a. You huh? said cup. I said World Cup. That's a whole word. After the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting, powerlifting. No. In the, in, the, in the actual show on stage. Posing. Oh, posing. Uh, when you, it's clear when you get dressed before you walk out, you. Look at the mirror. But mirror. the last word. Time. The last word. Look. Mirror. Oh. Time. Oh, we got it. Yes, sir. One more. I hate that. Yeah, good job. Time. Why I've been searching everywhere today for some sunflower seeds. Why are these the flavors? This is weird. Okay, y'all. Me and Tanya out here. We actually been out here for a little while, probably like two hours. Um And that's what I got. We split the table. She got earrings over here. Earrings, waist beads, and her candy clams. And then I have my sunglasses and lashes. I've gotten quite a few sales, so that's why the rack looks like that. I'm really about to pack up in a little while. 
think yesterday I told y'all I was going to the gym and doing all this stuff today and uh, that did not happen this morning. So I'll tell you guys and with everything a little later. Just want to pop in so y'all can know what I was up to today, but I probably won't get back on until later on. Waiting on the rest of our stuff to come down. What all do you have? Everything is basically natural and everything is um, natural and or plant-based. So my fragrance is what I craft is a plant-based scent. It has no oil, no perfume, no cologne. Safe for people who have allergies and sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. But I also have like natural jewelry that comes from like different cultures all around the world because I want something to represent almost everybody basically. Mm -hmm. So like I got butterflies for new beginnings. Um, we hand make our jewelry as well. Mm -hmm. Elephants for prosperity, peace, good luck. The hand, um, in some cultures, represent the hand of God protecting and watching over you. And the eye protection for negativity, but you know, prayer work too. Mm -hmm. And we also got chakras for balance too. Okay, gotcha. I want to smell some of this, bro. Yeah, I have a <laughs> You got allergy? I was real bad. It's pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. And I do graphic design, so I make all that. Oh. I do the business cards, everything. She says she do the graphic design. Right here. Or I need my sister to come. I never like had allergies hit me like the way it's hitting me right now. Mm. It's so crazy. How long you been doing this? So I've been doing this for five years. I've been doing this since I was 17. Oh, oh, I, you young. I just turned 21. Oh my um, gosh. But I actually started this, I was homeless. Um, my customers changed my life, so I wanted to take my brand on a bigger scale, a level, mm -hmm. because um, what I want to do is change people's lives the way y'all changed my life. So. Oh, wow. That is so and all it takes is teaching the right things mm -hmm. and getting um, the people that I basically employ my company to talk to the right people and let people understand their why, the reason why they're going hard. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like a lot to it, but I'm very passionate about it. Oh my God, I love that. How long you been coming out here? So I've been coming here for the past, um, it's about to be a year for me. Mm -hmm. um, I like it though. I do flea markets full time. Mm -hmm. um, also like vendor events, but mm -hmm. I love it here because it's free. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of traffic. Right, right. Here, let me see your hand like this. Oh, so hold on. This is the purple rain. So it's safe to wear if you have eczema or asthma as well too. This one's called Daniel Dropper. So don't get chased where uh, I can't get y'all no trouble. That's not an option. That's love potion. Oh, I think I like this. one's called Motivation. It's made with cucumber and eucalyptus. Um, I actually deal with migraines and headaches, but it's naturally made to help you with that as well. Wait. This one was Candy Dropper? Mm -hmm. And once it's settled Wait, in your can you skin, put it right here? Yeah. Um, let me get another stick. It's based on body chemistry, so when it settles in your skin, it's going to smell way different. Uh -huh. But no matter, like, who wears my fragrance, it's going to smell different like everybody. How much are they? A million. You got me? I hear okay. that. I hear that. Oh, oh, I didn't even tell you. So the sample stays on your skin, unlike perfume. It's going to stay first um, until you walk. Oh. It stays on your skin until you wash off with, like, soap and water. But the bottle lasts for six months to a whole year. Okay. Which ones were your favorites? Because I'm going to just hook you up regardless. I think... Yeah, I don't forget. I think a penny drop. Like, what was this right Okay. Okay. I mixed those two. You like free stuff? productive day to say the least i recorded for another vlog that you guys should have seen by now it is my reset because today is my first full day being back in charlotte from being home for an entire month so of course i had a whole bunch to do so be sure you guys check out that vlog i will definitely be posting it right here and also in the description box i will post a link to that and then I made it my business to make sure that I had this vlog edited. 
then I wanted to make sure I made it my business to edit this vlog because I'm really trying to stay on top of the content so I already have vlogs that are edited and scheduled so this vlog today is july 6th this vlog won't come out until next sunday tomorrow's vlog has already been uploaded description box is already done i feel like in order for me to remain consistent the way i have been i have to have stuff done way ahead of time i really can't wait till the day before or the day after so i am constantly editing 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 beforehand so that you guys have your vlogs on time and I'm also consistent like for my travel vlogs I have vlogs already uploaded until July 24th I believe so this is what helps me when I especially being that I've been home for a month I just spent so much time like editing scheduling things creating thumbnails and like just doing all the things so i made it my business today and i'm it's 11 10 and after i add this clip i plan on editing the reset that i did today well first of all i have one more thing that i actually have to do to complete that vlog and then i plan on editing that hopefully i can stay up long enough to do so but anyway <laughs> let's get into today's vlog if you guys are here that means you have made it to the end and i want to thank you before we end i just want to touch bases with you guys on a few things that you saw just in case you may have questions so by this point i'm sure you guys have already seen the spring fashion haul if you haven't, I am going to link that in the description box as well. I am on the creative team at my church and in today's vlog, you guys saw us as we had a game night. And of course, I always say the best moments are never televised. As soon as when I first got to the game night, everyone was finishing their food. I, of course, made my food and began eating, but baby, once we all were done and really got into playing some games and things non-stop laughter i had a really good time and i honestly cannot wait until the next one i know they had one a few weeks ago that they texted me about however i was home at that time so i missed it but i'm definitely looking forward to going and fellowshipping on the next time what in the heck happened with the end of the meal prep why can't we make it to the end of these meal preps? Honestly, I was trying to do so many things at one time. And I also was trying not to be too, too late to the game night. And I think I just was like, you know what? I got to put this camera down so that I can, you know, press along. So the tofu that I made, I uh, was making that for a salad. Like instead of putting meat on the salad, I barbecued the tofu and put that on there. And it came out actually good. However, it was a little bit more, I guess they would call firm or I would say hard, harder than I would like. So the next time I want it to be a little more softer and I want to have time to let it marinate. I did watch a few videos before I made it and they talked about marinating your tofu so I'm definitely looking forward to making it again having a solid recipe because y'all was just mixing some seasonings together and trying things out so I want to do it in like probably like a stir fry type thing but marinate the tofu for like a day overnight something like that um, if you guys are interested in seeing that leave a comment down below and let me know I'll definitely vlog it when I do if that's something you all are interested in um so yeah I'm going to perfect this tofu um it was good but it was not made to perfection and that's something that I'm looking forward to um I like to try out different things and you know perfect them okay I made way too much food and now I am in the business of like not overly preparing. And as we get along in the vlogs, you guys will see that vlog was shot in April 
today it is july so you guys will get to see how i'm evolving and changing things that were once routine realizing that some things that i used to do don't work for me in this season so um being that i like to have a lot of content out i don't record and then edit in the moment if that makes sense it's just way too hard to keep up with so that's why the vlogs are months behind so yeah and i don't even know what i was doing so i was roasting the brussels sprouts for the uh tofu salad that i was making it was like spinach roasted brussels sprouts tofu and i honestly don't remember what else i think i may have added cranberries and feta cheese to it so that's what that was for um and then i had the loaded sweet potato which was the cauliflower broccoli rice with the ground beef for dinner i'm not sure what i was cutting up those other sweet potatoes for and that's probably the moment when I realized that I was making way too much food. But I know you guys have been asking me to do more meal prep videos. And I promise y'all, I got y'all coming soon. I will do a meal prep video. And at the end of the vlog, you guys didn't even get to see it. But you didn't see it because it didn't necessarily happen. So my cousin and I were supposed to be going to see Mariah the Scientist. When we got to the location, it looked like more of a club and the line was way down the street per se. And we were like, yeah, we're not doing this. Um, really not into club vibes at this stage in my life. More of a lounge kind of girl, day party, a brunch, live jazz, that type of thing. So we decided not to do it. However, there was like a bar that looked cute. I don't know where I found this bar at. But anyway, so we went to the bar, sung a little bit, danced. Then we went outside and that's where you saw us taking pictures and just kind of chilling. And then we went to... We went somewhere else that night and then we just decided to call it a night, y'all. I am still trying to find the vibes in Charlotte at this stage. When I was younger and I was going out all the time and I enjoyed the club scene, it was easy. And plus, I just feel like Charlotte has changed as a whole. It is more like a family city. So, y'all will be going with me as I explore new things in the city but i'm not trying to hold y'all here long and i have a whole another vlog that i need to edit tonight well that my goal is to edit tonight y'all see i feel like my eyes got bags under it but anyways i love you guys i thank you for watching be sure to like share and subscribe and spam the comment section down below talk to me because i love to hear from y'all anyways i'll see y'all on the next vlog i love you good night well maybe goodbye i don't know what time it is that you're watching but peace